everybody, this is Caitlin with the Twinsburg Library here today for another awesome alphabet story time. I wonder what letter we're going to talk about today. I don't know, but the first, before we start talking about one letter, let's sing about all of them. Alright, today we're going to sing the alphabet to the tune of the Grand Old Duke of York. This is one of my favorites. I'll point the letters, you guys sing along with me. We're going to say a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Very good, my friends. All right. Let's take a look at my lowercase. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I think I'm missing one. And it's time to be letter detectives. Hmm, which one am I missing today? Hmm. See, what comes after G, but before I? Can you guys figure it out? Take a look over here. There's G. After G comes H. Very good. We're missing our lowercase h. I wonder who we took it. Let's see, who do we have? It's a horse. Goodness gracious, give me our h, Mr. Horse. Hey, I was eating that. Horses don't eat the letter H. Horses eat hay. Hey, wait a minute. Horse and hay both start with the letter H. Oh, I must have gotten confused. Maybe you guys can help me so I don't get confused again. What do you guys think? I think we can help him. I think so. First things first, let's put our H back in our alphabet and let's teach the horse the sound the letter H makes. We've got horse and hay. What sound does it make? Ha ha ha. Very good. All right, let's sing our song. The H says ha. The H says ha. All the letters make the sound and the H says ha. Very good, my friends. All right, I think I'm ready for a story all about the letter H. We're going to read the Hiccupopotamus. Look at that. Hiccup starts with H. And hippopotamus starts with H. And we have the hippopotamus. Well, that sounds like a silly story. Let's see what's going on with our hippopotamus. Alright, we got hip. Hip. Uh oh. There was a hippopotamus who hiccuped up quite a lot of us, and every time he got him us, he fall down on his bottomus. Uh oh, he's awfully silly. Hiccup. One day he saw an elephant with cakes of green and yellow fint. He tried to tell her hello fint. Hiccup. But it didn't go so well, elephant. Uh oh, she doesn't look happy. Oh, hey, look, happy is another H word. She chased him towards the centipede, pouring new cementipede. He hicked by axipedipede and tripped the elephantipede. Oh no, a big mess. They ran near a rhinoceros with minty dental flosserus. His string went all crisscrosserus. And that was the last strawserus. Oh my goodness, he may tied everybody up. They tried to find a therapy to cure which they could share a pee. Oh, what or why or where a pee to stop this long nightmare pee. So, they wrapped him round with licorice and spun him very quicker-ish. They secured him to a buffalo and made him huff and puffalo. Oh. Do you think that's going to work? No. They acquired an aquarium and flashed him something scary. Him. They poured him tubs of vinegar and tickled his chin chin chinnigar. Oh no, he's still hiccuping. And then at last a miracle, his hiccup so severe, just didn't reappear. He grinned from ear and ear cuckle until. Oh no, everybody caught it. The end. Oh my goodness, that was awfully silly. All right, well, we learned what sound it makes, and we learned some words that start with it. Do you think we can learn big and little? I think we can. We've got the B, uppercase H, and the little, lowercase H. 
Big uppercase. Little lowercase. Big. Little. Big. Little. Big. Little. Do you guys think you can remember that? No, no, I think I'm gonna quiz you. You ready? Big or little? Little. Big or little? Big. Big or little? Big. Big or little? Big. Big or little? Bigger little. Both of them big and little. Very good, my friends. All right, now I think it's time to do some singing with the letter H. Let's see. What's the opposite of slow? Fast. Now, what's a way we can tell people to go fast? We can tell them to <laughs> hurry. Hurry is a great H word. So let's go ahead and we're gonna sing to tell people to hurry. Ready? What's a vehicle that has to go really fast? A fire truck. All right, let's say, hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, you guys are good. Now let's see. Uh oh, what's this one? It's a tractor. Uh oh, you think we could drive the tractor? Let's see, tractors don't go very fast, but we'll have to tell them to hurry. You ready? You say, hurry, hurry, drive the tractor. Hurry, hurry, drive the tractor. Hurry, hurry, drive the tractor. Beep, 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 beep. You guys are good. How about this one? What, what is this one? A train. All right. Let's see, we're gonna have to go and move like a train. We're gonna have to chug along. Hurry, hurry, drive the train. Hurry, hurry, drive the train. Hurry, hurry, drive the train. Choo, 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 choo. I like an awesome job, my friends. Ooh, how about this one? What is it? It's a boat. Do we drive a boat? Well, you can, but this is a rowboat. So we're gonna have to row with the oars. Ready? Hurry, hurry, row the boat. Hurry, hurry, row the boat. Hurry, hurry, row the boat. Splash, 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 splash. I like it. All right, I've got, ooh, what's this one? An airplane, very good. Let's go ahead and fly the airplane. Hurry, hurry, fly the airplane. Hurry, hurry, fly the airplane. Hurry, hurry, drive the airplane. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I like it, all right, I've got one more. Oh, what's this one? A rocket ship. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to go ahead and do the rocket ship. And I think we're gonna have to bounce up and down to blast off our rocket ship. Ready? Hurry, hurry, blast the rocket ship. Hurry, hurry, blast the rocket ship. Hurry, hurry, blast the rocket ship. Zoom, 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 zoom. Very good, my friends. You guys are really good at hurrying like the letter H. All right, I think I'm ready for another story. How about you? All right, this one's called Hooray for Hat. Hey, look, two more H words, hooray and hat. Let's see if we can spot any other ones in this book. All right. When Elephant woke up, he was very grumpy. The doorbell rang. Elephant stomped downstairs. Go away. I'm grumpy. There was a present on the doorstep. Elephant unwrapped the box. Uh oh, what do you think was in the box? <gasps> look at that! That was hard to stay grumpy now. Hey, look, hard is another H word. Hooray for hat! Elephant cheered. I will show zebra. Ooh, those are some fancy hats. But zebra did not want to look at his hat. Go away! I'm grumpy! So Elephant gave Zebra a hat. Zebra smiled, they both cheered. Hooray for hat. Let's show Turtle. But Turtle will not come out of his shell. Go away, I'm grumpy. Uh oh, what do you think he should do? Go of course, Elephant gave Turtle a hat too. Turtle smiled and they all cheered. Hooray for hat. Let's show Owl. But Al did not want to see them or their hats. 
Go away. I'm grumpy. Alvin gave Al and I had two. Al smiled and they all cheered. Hoo, hoo, hooray for hat. Look at that. Hoo, hoo is the sound an owl makes. <gasps> Elephant, zebra, turtle, and owl marched down the road to show lion. Hooray for hat. The lion did not want any visitors. Go away. I'm grumpy. Elephant gave Lion a hat too, but Lion was still sad. I love this hat, but I can't cheer while our friend Giraffe is not feeling well. What else can we do? Uh-oh. So Elephant, Zebra, Turtle, Owl, and Lion made a surprise for Giraffe. Uh-oh, what do you think they're doing? They all marched to Giraffe's home. On the way, the lion started to feel better. And soon, Giraffe started to feel better too. Hooray for friends. Look at that, everybody feels better. The end. Those were some awesome H words. All right, are you guys ready to do some H correcting? Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and meet you over there. And don't, remember, don't forget, if you didn't get a chance to get the book from the library, that's okay. In the description below, you can download it and print it out so you can craft along with us. See you in a second. All right, are you guys ready to craft? Do you remember what letter we were working on? The letter H. Very good. So let's go ahead and add some color to the letter H, and then we'll figure out what we can craft with that letter. I'm going to color my H red, but you can use whatever color you would like. This is all about being creative. So use whatever color strikes your fancy. All right, let's go ahead and open our book to the letter H. All right, G, there it is, H. H is for house and H is for Horse, two awesome H letters. So let's go ahead and take a look at our pieces. All right, so we've got our house pieces. We've got a big triangle for the roof, some a square for a window, a rectangle for a door, and then we have the horse's face and tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring. Now I'm gonna make my door red and my window blue and my roof black, but you can make them whatever color you would like. All right, now on to the horse. I think I'm gonna make my horse brown, but you can make your horse whatever color. Maybe a white horse or a black horse, or maybe even a purple or a pink horse. That would be really cool too. All right, now it's your choice. You can have your grown-ups go ahead and help you cut this out while you color the letters, or we can go ahead and cut it out later. It's up to you. So let's see, I think I'm gonna make my house yellow. So I'm gonna color my big uppercase H yellow. All right, like I said, I'm gonna make my horse brown, but you can make it whatever color you want. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add a little black at the bottom for his Hooves. Hey, look, hooves are another H word. All right, now it's time to cut out our things if you haven't done it already. All right, let's go ahead and get gluing. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the roof of my house and glue that, of course, on the top because that's where the roof goes. And I'm gonna glue on the window. And the door, and by golly, look, our big uppercase H looks like a house. All right, now let's work on that lowercase H and make it look like a horse. 
Of course, we're going to take his head. Hey, look, head is another H word. I'm going to put it at the top and make the stem of the H. Uh, his neck and his front leg. And then we're just going to go ahead and add the tail to his bottom on the curve of the H. And it looks just like a horse. Very good, my friends. Those are some awesome H crafts. All right, that's it for this time. And we'll see you guys next time for the next letter. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Bye.